a big idea. idea. A new world. Have you ever taken a moment to second guess? The fitness on a corner or the IRS? Hi, uh, my name is Corey, and this video is real quick about the most recent citation I received by the Orange County Sheriff. Uh, it's presently open at the Orange County Superior Court, County of Orange. The case number is SH826801. If you go to occourts.org, enter the information here with that citation number, uh, navigate through the website, you'll be able to see that as of today, this is still open. Now my overall theory on this is that after one year I'll file a motion to have this ticket removed or I'll just leave it there. It, it no longer affects me. It doesn't affect me at all at the moment. I'm sure they're working on something to try and move this forward but as of right now uh, it is a success. So the first thing I want to start off with is how I identify myself. It's really important to recognize this. Now this is identification that I created. Uh, you can create your own. It basically is the same thing that would be on a passport. Uh, passport doesn't require a birth certificate. The whole idea is identifying yourself as a person other than the birth certificate. Everything in law is a fictional person. This right here is a fictional person and this is how I identify myself. A couple of important things on this document is we have the given name, have the family name, uh, conceived, which they always want to see a date of birth, but this is the date that this person was conceived. Uh, nationality is American, domicile is the California Republic, uh, has height, weight, hair, eyes. Uh, then my signature, as well as the date, which was October 26, 2010. And then it is witnessed by two other people. Uh, Mike and Jaime won't use their last names, but they witnessed this for me. We took it to the notary and Mike and Jaime used their identification to swear to the notary. They both know me, they've known me for quite a while, um, to swear that I am who I say I am and that there's no fraud going on. Now you're allowed to use any name you want as long as it's not fraudulent. You, you can't be committing fraud in that case. Uh, it's signed by a notary. And I have another one that has an apostille certificate, but um, this is really just for you. It's nice to have this there. It also provides evidence that you are who you say you are. Now we'll take that and this is a copy of the citation that I received and there'll be a link for this. I'm going to redact some of the information on it but um, you'll be able to see what it is. The most important thing is to look at the signature. On this citation the signature it says real simple without prejudice it means I don't know exactly what's being signed here but I am obligating this person who is the person on the birth certificate, I am obligating this person to appear on a certain date without admitting guilt, I'm just promising to appear, at uh, September 8th, 2011 at 8 a.m. Now there's various charges here. The overall fines was like 1200 bucks. Um, I won't go into the fines. It, it doesn't really matter. You can look it up yourself if you want. Uh, and I filed uh, a... I filed a complaint against the sheriff who arrested me in this case and uh, that, that complaint, the purpose of that complaint was more to have an opportunity to meet with the sheriff and be able to explain my situation. My goal was not to cause harm to the sheriffs who were doing their job. All they were was doing their job and they didn't beat me, they didn't do anything. I mean, it, it, you know, some people might get upset but um, the reality is we live in a system where the vast majority of people identify themselves as corporate property. Now when you go around you start changing that. You don't identify yourself as corporate property. Uh, the police, the sheriffs, everybody, they're first off, and probably rightly so, they're going to assume that you're some sort of you know, sovereign white right-wing guy that uh, provi presents a real danger to the society. And their job is to protect us against those people who are unstable. So by filing that complaint, I had the opportunity to meet with the sergeant, uh, have a conversation with him, and demonstrate that I am a peaceful man and I offer absolutely no threat to any law enforcement. And as far as that is concerned, I was successful. Uh, the other portion was making them aware of their oath and aware of the difference between a given and a first name. And as far as that being my goals, I believe I was 100% successful. Um, the outcome of the of the complaint to me is immaterial. That 
you know, it's just a little ticket. I don't want anybody going to jail. I don't want anybody losing their job or anything like that. It's all about educating. So now we get into what was filed at the courts. Uh, it's real important. You want to put the judge or the commissioner on his oath. In Orange County, you get a copy of the oath of office for all commissioners. It's held at the Human Resources Department in, in Santa Ana. I imagine most superior courts are going to be the same in California and probably around the country. Uh, but you definitely want to go get a copy of the oath of office for the commissioner who's hearing your case and get that lodged. You just file a notice of lodgement along with a copy of his oath and get that in before the appearance date. Then on the appearance date, which I'll have a link to this document here, I'm going to go through it real quick so you can explain it. You might want to download and print it. Um, this document has a couple of things on here and it actually works exactly like a check. If you've ever written a personal check, you've done the exact same thing as what I did on this document here. And what this seems to have done is made it impossible for the courts to obtain a conviction. It's impossible for the courts to enter a plea on my behalf or on the behalf of the defendant, I'm sorry. And uh, this case will just sit there. there. There's nothing pending and it causes me no trouble as of right now. And like I said earlier, I'm sure they're trying to figure out how to get around that. Um, at the top, this is the defendant. Uh, it doesn't, if, it, if you see the whole thing about capital letters, it doesn't matter. That is strictly style. Uh, capital letters, I don't care if the defendant is in capital letters, lowercase letters, anything. The whole idea is the defendant has a first name. The title of the defendant is different than the title I take. The title I take is my given name. My given name is the title of my appellation. So the first name of the defendant is Corey, the middle name is Brandon, and the last name is Ibe, and the address is there, which will be redacted. Uh, the received date right here, this was received on September 8th uh, it, by the Superior Court of California. It's got a stamp on there. It has the case number listed here, entry of plea, and it shows the people of California, plaintiff, versus Corey Brandon Ibe. This time I put it in all capital letters. Like I say, it doesn't matter. The whole thing with capital letters is not important. Um, but Corey Brandon Ibe is the defendant. I agreed to that. I'm the guy, through this citation, just like you do on a check, I'm the guy that put this guy, bound this the defendant, the birth certificate, the corporation, known as Corey Brandon Ibe. It's a, uh, a child corporation of my parents' corporations. That, that's all it is. They just didn't know what was going on. But I sign that just like you sign a check. So I have obligated the defendant to appear in court. And that's it. It's the only thing on here. It says, without admitting guilt, I promise to appear at the time and place indicated above. So here is the paperwork. Now remember, me, I never went and saw the judge. All I did was take this to the clerk, get a stamp on it, and then left it there says the defendant Corey Brandon Ibe appearing specially and without prejudice while reserving all rights and waiving no rights in the above titled action enters the following plea colon now to me the colon was important because it's the most powerful statement of a sentence being stopped and below that it, in bold letters underlined it says defendant does not plead again the bold letters and the underlining just style it doesn't have any legal implications or anything dated September 8 2011 You'll notice at the bottom it's signed, in all capital letters, Corey Brandon Ibe. Corey Brandon Ibe in pro per, the defendant, he's just representing himself, I have nothing to do with it, by Corey Ibe, agent. Now let me go through this, it's going to take a couple of minutes, but I'll go through and explain why my theory is that the courts can't do anything with this. The appearance has happened, the judge doesn't have the opportunity to enter a plea on behalf of the defendant. Uh, because the defendant is represented or has been uh, uh, entered to the court in a competent manner. Now, one of the things that I've learned from some of the heavy hitters out there, like Mark Stevens, he shows a way in beating traffic tickets to get every single police officer to be declared an incompetent witness. Now the reason why they're incompetent, that's fascinating, I, I, they don't explain that. But my theory is that the birth certificate is a corporation. If you identify yourself as McDonald's, people are going to think you're crazy, right? You'd be incompetent. Uh, if you were to identify yourself as uh, Epson printers, well, 
you probably wouldn't get very far. And the Supreme Court ruled that persons, individuals, have the same, corporations have the same right as persons uh, as far as uh, finance for politicians, the uh, political finance rules. That's because the person on a birth certificate is just another corporation. It's an individual type of corporation. So my identification that I use is to show I'm not a corporation. Oh, by the way, the birth certificate is government property. I am not government property, nor will I ever voluntarily identify myself as government property. I'll identify myself as the person who's authorized to transact business on behalf of government property, just like you do when you write a check. Every single time when you write a check, it's the same way. So let's go through this real quick. Corey Brandon I'm the defendant is a human being. A human being is a monster. Uh, if you look in old versions of Valentine's Law Dictionary, so um, right off the bat, we can find in law that a human being would be incompetent before court and must be represented by a, a competent person. The Superior Court, people of California, well, I claim to be one of the people of California, so they've put these rules together and got to follow the rules. The defendant says right here, and it's got their stamp on it, the defendant is appearing on September 8th at 8 a.m. right here on the paper before the commissioner Lyle Robertson and the defendant does not plead so in this case the defendant has appeared the defendant is the person charged the defendant has appeared the defendant has not entered a plea now if you walk into court and you identify yourself as the defendant you will be incompetent you'll never get a lawyer who will allow you to go into court and not enter a plea that would violate their oath to the courts, so the attorneys cannot help you with this. This person here opens up a huge can of worms for the courts, because if they don't just accept that as being somebody competent, well then they open up to all sorts of hearings on what's going on with our courts. So in this case, they've just left it. Uh, the date today is now November, I think it's November 28th, I'm not sure, let me see, it's uh, November 28th actually. November 28th, uh, this was an appearance on September 8th. If you go to occourts.org and look up online case access, then criminal traffic, and then enter the citation number, you'll be able to see this case is still active. There are no warrants. Uh, one of the charges that I was charged with would require a warrant if there was a failure to appear. So the appearance requirement has been met and there has been no plea entered, and I never saw the judge personally. Now this is more than just one piece of paper that you file in court. This was something that conducted myself properly the entire time, from the time that I talked to the police officers, which, by the way, they handled themselves professionally. Uh, they, didn't un they didn't know what was going on. Nobody else around here has done that. I was treated professionally by the police, and I have a lot of respect for the sheriff's department. In fact, in my world, the president comes to Orange County and gives somebody an order, the sheriff better approve it because the sheriff is the highest constitutional authority in the land. So get to know your sheriff. Uh, anyway, well that's it. That's my latest filing and so far it's been successful uh, for the goals that I'm attempting to achieve. So I'm open to uh, criticisms. Let them let them fly. Let's see what you say in the comments. Thank you. Taking a moment to stand up and fight, stand up and fight. for liberty and freedom, bringing darkness to light. Defend the Constitution and the Bill of and Rights. Bill of Make them feel the wrath of God when we stand and when unite. Stand and unite. Ignite a revolution with noble persistence. With noble persistence. Feel the retribution of the global with resistance. The global resistance. Divided will fall and get lost in the distance. United will prosper with continued come existence. Come Resist the new world order and the NAU. Checkpoints now, what you gonna do? You gonna do? Don't slip, huh? slip, don't even trip uh -huh. Just hit him with a fourth and straight flip the script This shit's just so crazy, crazy. Obama's worse than Cheney huh. The puppets of the masters microchipping your babies Selling you convenience, exploiting the lazy When you stand up for truth or submit to their slavery